Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Conley McCaskill. I am a busy mom of two little girls, Branton who is four and a half and Baylor Ann who is one. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial slash chit chat video. Um, this video was highly requested. Um, uh, this is going to be the look that um, y'all see. The only thing you don't see is me straighten my hair because, you know, yeah. So this is the look. I Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but this is what we're doing today. I was getting ready for my sister's baby shower, and I just thought this would be a good opportunity to hop on here and film this. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody. So, okay, so before I get started... A couple things one I do have my windows open behind me because it is like super nice here in South Carolina it is in the 60s I think so if you hear the sounds of children sorry <laughs> another thing in my question and answer video um, I got a few um, constructive criticism comments that my background music was too loud and I agree that it was so thank you for those who have pointed it out um, I was trying to cover up my sound machines that I have going for my children um, when they nap. Well, Baylor Ann naps. Branton does not. Um, because nap time is when I do get dressed um, and stuff like that. And she's just an incredibly light sleeper. So um, there's that. So if you hear just some fuzzy white noise, um, you know, mom life. I'm sure you can relate. Um, also, I am not a makeup artist. I do not claim to be no training. Everything I have learned, I've learned from my sister over the years, um, YouTube, just watching people, etc. So on this video was extremely highly requested. So this is just what I do personally to get dressed. Um, if you have some positive feedback, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. Or if you know me personally, feel free to reach out. No harm, no foul. Um, yeah. Oh, and you probably see my um, jack-o'-lantern dress. My sister is about to have a little boy in December. And um, she is having a Halloween-themed, ooh, sorry, <laughs> a Halloween-themed baby shower today um, that her girlfriends are giving her. So, hence <sighs> my attire. And lastly, just wanted to comment because it is a get ready for me video or with me. I'm obviously not wearing my hair up in this bun here. Uh, my hair is packed full of dry shampoo and my hairstylist told me the best time to do dry shampoo is actually at night before you go to bed, which I do um, do. Um, and then I spray it in there like if I'm going somewhere and you need to let it sit because that powder is absorbing all the oils and just pull it up. Um, I have it in a bun like this with a scrunchie. I don't know if you can see so that I don't get a kink in my hair because my hair is already... Um, straightened. I don't wash my hair every day. It would fall out. No joke. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. And, um, all the products, I have everything out right here and I have my mirror right here. So if you see me looking over here, um, that's what I'm doing. So I can't really do like, I mean, I guess I could use my screen, but it might look a little wonky to go out. So, um, everything I have right here, if I can find it, I will list it in the description box below for you. So, let's get started. I have obviously showered and moisturized, done my whole face regimen with my Red and Fields Unblemish. I'll also link my um, website below. Clean hands, make sure you've dampened your beauty blender, and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is prime. Prime our face, that really holds, sorry, I'm fixing my pillow. <laughs> that really holds the makeup on so you have that staying powder power this is the laura geller tinted makeup spackle um this is in the color champagne i really love this stuff i mean just need a little bit and you just put it on your face and you really get like a really pretty illuminous you want to press this in by the way you get a really pretty like See how illuminated that looks? It's so pretty. See that? Just under the skin, it gives you such a glowy, glowy look. I put that all over uh, my face. 
um, first. Kind of let that settle in and dry and do its thing. And you don't need two primers, y'all. You don't. Um, I got sucked into this one and I like it. This is by Tarte. It's their beautiful mermaid packaging. This is the, um, it's called Timeless, but it's supposed to like blur all your pores. Um, and it looks like this. I just reach in and literally, that's too much, just get like a little bit. You really don't need much at all. And I just put this where I have issues with my pores and that's just like literally just kind of, I'm not going to say my whole T-zone because I really don't like it on my chin. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit. So I guess just put it in your T-zone area. But my problem, I feel like that a lot of people have too. It's just on their cheek area. You know where your pores are. But see, you still have that little bit of glow too. But it just softens the skin. I really do like this stuff. Y'all, I gotta get a sip of water. <sighs> All this chalk in here. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Okay, so the girl at Sephora helped me find this stuff. And y'all, I've never liked a product more than what I'm about to show you. Really quick, I'm opening up my loose. Well, actually, I was gonna open up my loose powders. But I guess I'm not because then I can't very well show y'all right. Fast forward. So anyway, I've never liked a product as much as I like this right here. It is the It Com Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Illumination Color Correcting Illuminator Full Coverage. And it is cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum SPF 50 UAV and U UVB. Y'all, this stuff is legit and it's a little pumpy thing here love it girl from sephora if you're watching this yes bae i literally am just gonna squirt one to two pumps on here i have had a breakout that is now going away because it's um almost my time of the month so i'm gonna use two just to make sure that that's covered and i am literally just gonna dab this stuff all over my face just um you know trying to get it even and then we're gonna what does Jeffree Star say bounce baby we're gonna bounce our damp beauty blender my best friend bless her heart didn't realize you were supposed to dampen your beauty blender and why you do that is it just helps everything set I think but I do know for a fact that if you don't dampen it it just it eats all your product Make sure y'all get that neck, ladies. Get on, the, or gents, ladies, whoever's doing makeup. Make sure y'all get your ears, your hairline. I love this. Oh, this is a Morphe Beauty Blender, by the way. It's red. I love this one because, see, it's got this flat line. And you can really get in the creases of your nose. I don't take my, I mean, my, um, my concealer, my foundation really under my eyes. Because I just feel like that's more product that can crease. And, um, you know, we're not trying to do that. So I tighten this up to make sure I'm getting all that. Okay, and see, can y'all just see how, like, illuminated my face is? Oh, it looks so pretty to me. Not, not I look so pretty. <laughs> but my skin, it just looks so nice. And it is full coverage, see? Yes, this is something really good if you are having a breakout or if you're just someone who likes to wear makeup, um, you know, on a daily basis. This would be good to go out running errands or to go out if you want to wear makeup to the gym or whatever. Okay, next things I am going to use are two products because I'm a wee bit extra there. The first is... Um, Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. <clears throat> and this is in the color, literally. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's in the color yellow. Literally, it says yellow. And of course, the next one here is Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody knows 
what Tarte Shape Tape is. This is in color Light Sand. And P.S. The It Cosmetics is in color Medium Tan because I'm a little tan. But the yellow really cancels out any darkening that you might have, dark circles. I put this in a triangle motion and I literally just stretch it out and up. And see, I did not even re-dip. You don't need to. Just one and pull it, like just dip it and pull it out and that's all that you need. And then I'm just going to take whatever is left on here and just put on my little scars down here because it will help lighten that area. And then just because this is naked skin, it's a very light formula, which I do like. But it's also yellow, like I said. So I just literally dot in a little bit of the Shape Tape Concealer just to um, lighten it up and thicken it up a little bit. But I really do love that um, the Urban Decay. I'm going to take one clean side. Obviously, and yes, your Beauty Blender needs to be clean and damp. But I'm going to take one of the flat sides of my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to start under the first eye that I concealed. And when you do this, I learned this from Sister James Charles. You push up, not hard, but up. And really quickly while I'm doing this, before it dries, immediately, so to avoid creasing, set it. This is the, okay, well, this is the Laura Mercier, but this is the Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. I didn't even know this existed, and then my friend Shannon Ford made a YouTube video and said that her friend told her to use it because I do have another Laura Mercier setting powder. But, um, yeah, you really do. I think it's like 28 bucks, and I know that's like, but... Seriously, it's worth it. So you're just going to dip the side that you've been using. Just dip it in here. Get a little on there. And then push it up. Make sure you're pushing it up so you feel in those creases. It, it looks super white right now, but leave the extra. Now, go to your clean side of your beauty blender and do this. And kind of, I'm kind of trying to hurry it just so it doesn't dry. I do bring it down the nose. Um... Again, make sure you're pushing up a little bit. Make sure you get those creases on the inside of your eye. Drag it up. And again, dip it and push it up. Okay, and I do do the on uh, my eyelid as well. And voila. Okay, so that was the Laura. Mercier, but this is the again secret brightening powder for under eyes. That's what it's made for. And sis, yes. now for the chin, which I'm about to conceal, and same thing. Um, this is just the Laura Mercier holy grail of setting powders. This is just in color translucent. I don't know if y'all can see that translucent. You don't need much of this stuff either. And I'm just going to take a clean side of my Beauty Blender. You can see where what I've used already. So just a clean rash in here. And we're going to color this in. And I bring it up a little bit right here because I'm going to bake this area. I say bake. I don't get real intense like some people. But hey, just ain't got time for that. Okay. Okay, then we're just going to dip into this. And really set, you want to set anywhere that you have concealer. That's what you're setting. Like, see how this is nice and shiny? I'm leaving it. Then I'm just going to take this. And set that little area that I concealed. And see the extra powder? See that? Leave it. Leave it, sissies. Okay. All right. Now, and I should have done this before, but I'm slacking. I don't use eyeliner. Um, I have extremely long eyelashes. Thanks, Roden and Fields. Um, I use white eyeliner, and I have for a really long time. This is NYX Faux Whites. And it's in the color um, vanilla 
or FWLO1. And y'all, I literally, I pulled out my eyelid and put it on my waterline. Okay. Just like that. And I am gonna use my mirror. I put it on the top of my waterline too. If you can't do that, skip it. But um, it literally just makes your eyes look, see how much more open this eye looks. Um, some people like a really like dark, um, smokier eye <clears throat> and that's beautiful really truly it is beautiful I just um, I like I like wide eyeliner I do so I like a open look so yeah that's that and y'all don't judge me this sweet thing here is <sighs> she's a little sad just just dirty but this is my eyelash palette <laughs> eyelash palette my eyeshadow palette <laughs> by Makeup Revolution. And this is in the color Neutrals versus Neutrals. See that spelling there? See that? LOL. Um, my mirror portion is broken off. And it has the colors here, so I'll try to tell y'all <laughs> what I'm using. Let me get real professional here. Um, it looks like this. I like these colors for fall, as you can tell. Some are favored over others. I really like these orangey colors. The brick color is really pretty. I love these peachy colors. So, we'll see. <clears throat> for overall, oh gosh, I'm gonna dip into neutral, which is this pretty, it's not brown, taupe color. And I am just gonna rub that all there's something in my eyelash what is that what is that what can y'all see that white right there <sighs> don't know um yeah so we're just gonna get into this neutrals here Rub this all over the eye, just for a pretty, same for the other eye, by the way, just for a pretty, I think, in the makeup world, it's called like a transition shade. I'm going to call it a background color, okay? Whatever. Pretty, pretty. I am also going to dip into Personal and Vogue, which are these two peachy colors here. Just going to dab a little bit of both on there because they are pretty and I'm really going to push down to pack pack and I know that a lot of people use this flat side for packing. Mm -hmm. I just use this fluffy side and I use it for all the colors. I know that's not what you're supposed to do. So yep, am going to do the same thing over here. These are personal and a vogue Ooh, sassy okay and since my dress y'all see right does have some um, orange in it some orange a lot of orange i am going to dip into trend which is this brick color and i am going to get a little bit here in my creasy area Again, y'all, I don't go all bucky wild. Um, yeah. Just gonna rub that in, kind of pull it over my little, little, hello. Oh, I hear my baby on the monitor, y'all. Waking up, we almost made it. Same for this eye. And see another thing about leaving the setting powder down here is any fallout. You, you hit your brush to get off the fallout, but sometimes I forget. This down here really catches it, and then I'll brush all that away. Please hold. Oh, I just thought this was so funny. She went to bed with wet hair because she had a bath. Look at her hair. 
Look at her hair. Woo! Oh, that's makeup. Say hey, Baylorin. Baylorin, say hey. She's like, say hey to who? Baylorin, look. Look. <gasps> Hi! Boop. Say hey! She's like, no. Let me go get her situated and I'll come right back. Ooh. Yeah! Hey, sissies. Sorry about that. <sighs> I was able to turn my sound machines off, so if it got a little quieter, this chair, that's why. Back to what we were doing. Okay, so for the eye, under the eyebrow, a little in the corner, and on my little, I call it a wake up line, eyelash line, whatever. We're gonna dip into Bias, Cool, and Style, which are these light colors here. And um, yeah, it just lightens up the eye. Gives you a more, oh, wrong color. Gives you a more, see, can you see the difference? Like, it just makes you look more wide-eyed, you know, during the headlights, whatever. See, I just, I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, I'm all about bright eyes. Y'all, I have been filming for, oh God, well, I don't know, actually. Usually it takes me like 20 minutes to do my makeup, though. <sighs> Wrong color again. Like 20 minutes, though. So if you are a mom or you're just busy, I can't spend an hour on my makeup. Y'all, I remember when I first got married, and that's it, literally. That's that. Those are my eyes. Um, when I first got married, I remember... <laughs> It would take me an hour and a half to get dressed. Not, not even when I first got married. Like, when I first got married, yeah. When I was pregnant the first time, it probably took me closer to, like, two. Like, seriously, I was going to say five, but that's exaggerated. Literally, like, two. I remember we were at my grandparents' house one time, and my brother-in-law, who's been around literally my whole life since I was, like, eight, told me, Conley, every day is not a beauty pageant. Like, come on. Hey, Bob. I am going to take this... Uh, Eco Tools, hmm? Eco Tools full powder brush, just big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna rub in what I baked, rub that off. And there, and I might just rub this in a little bit and just kind of brush it up. Ta da! Ra ta ta, y'all. All right. Next. I am going to take, this is my Holy Grail bronzer. It is a little bit hard to use because it's a loose powder. Um, but, you know, if you don't want to use a loose powder, a lot of people like Hula bronzer by benefit. But this is Bare Minerals, and it is in the color Warmth. Can y'all see that? And it, too, is a very bricky color. I literally don't even use this. I use what's on the lid because like, and I barely, and I mean barely get any on there and that'll be for like my contour and then I'll use a little bit, but I mean seriously like, oh dip. This is a Makeup Academy Professional um, 023 brush, which is also, it says contour, and it just looks like this. I think I got this from CVS, no doubt. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this same stuff, take it off, just go down my nose a little bit. What does Sister James Charles say? We want a snatched nose, y'all. That just makes it look a little bit smaller. Hmm, okay. Again, a little bit of that. And we're going to carve out our jawline here. And under here. Okay, and I realize it looks very liney. Just hold your pants, okay? I'm going to put the lid on this stuff because it would stain the whole United States of America. Now, oh, well, actually, I'm not going to put the lid on because I need that. <sighs> Joke's on me. So, this is, and don't judge her, she has seen some better days, guys. This is a Bare Minerals brush. 
It's called Flawless Face. No numbers, that's just what it's called. Again, back in my lid that literally has nothing hardly in it. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna brush it up and really buff it out. Go up into my hairline, up into my forehead, and really just warm up my face. As you can tell, I'm super professional about all this. Okay, same down here. Really just buff this out, blend it in pretty well, and I let you, you brush up. Just kind of, you know, I don't want to look like, um, like I drew on my face, even though that's uh, basically what I'm doing. So I, um, <clears throat> I just want to, you know, you want to soften out lines. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender that had everything on it before. I didn't dip it in anything. I'm just making sure that I keep my under eyes and down here really fresh. Now, I mean, I know I just said that, but now I'm just gonna go over it. Like I'm just dabbing my brush on there, my Bare Minerals bronzer, br bronzer brush, just so I don't look like I'm. Next, y'all. I swear I think this says Sebastian Brush number 7503. My grandmother was an esthetician and she passed away and this was one of her brushes that I got um, from her things. So honestly, I don't know how old it is or where it came from. Any little small blush brush will do. Um, this is the Benefit, yeah, she looks rough. Benefit California is the color. California. I always, like literally, every time I wear makeup, tune into my inner OC right there. Y'all heard that? It's a really pretty peachy color. Just really, it just kind of makes you look alive. And literally, I dab it, shake it, and just brush it up. It just makes you look like you have a little bit of color there instead of being like, you know, I know in high school, and I used to wear like pink, like real mauve colors. No, no thanks. There you go. Okay. Oh, next. This is by Makeup Revolution. It is called Strobe Highlighter. Strobe Highlighter Holographic Lights. And I'm pretty sure this is a dupe of... I'm pretty sure it's by Too Faced. I'm pretty sure, and it's the diamonds, and it, they claim that it has um, real flex of diamonds in it. It might, this was like $8, and the Too Faced was like, literally I think it was like 30 something bucks, because I had it in my little basket at Ulta, and then I just found this when I was getting that Makeup Revolution eyeshadow, and I was like, getting it. So. This is a Morphe M310 brush, a little fan brush here. And this is a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm gonna use the setting brush just to set, um, not to set, God, just to highlight my little nose. You really wanna use a thinner brush on your nose so that it looks thin. I'm also gonna use the Real Techniques, right, and know what I just said, Real Techniques brush and do my cupid's bow and my 11 here because y'all know i just got botox i mean well botox but i got filler there so i'm trying to show that off nothing nothing okay now i'm gonna take my morphe m310 Ugh. hello dip it in it and get right here anywhere light touches I used to do the middle of my forehead, but I don't remember what makeup artist it was on YouTube said not to do that, to do right here and right there. And I'm like trying to blind people with this highlighter, literally like 
Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Just layer it on, whatever. Get it to your desired. Yes. Y'all see that? Ooh, yes, hunty. Okay. Y'all, we're almost done here. Real talk. <clears throat> Again, don't judge me. This is just a generic, don't pay attention to this. <laughs> eyebrow brush and then on the other end it has a spoolie um i have an eco tools spoolie but i like this one because it's all in one i'm just gonna take the spoolie and just brush out my brows try to get any product out of them brush them straight up your girl here loves a bushy brow i know everybody's not into that Hey y'all, I'm sorry. I really like my my camera. I said that it got too hot. Um, the internal temp was too high and it needed to cool down. So I just took that time to run a straightener through my, like I already said, straight hair. Um, I didn't do anything else makeup wise. So back to my spoolie. We're just gonna brush out our eyebrows. Try to get product out of them. And then I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay waterproof brow mousse and i use it in medium brown it does come with a brush but i just use a little this is an eco tools angled liner brush um dip it in here i like to rub the sides off i start right here at my i don't know what that's called my arch and i just fill in underneath because i already have really full brows Thanks, Rodan and Fields. Um, and I just lightly, my hairstylist, who is also a makeup artist, said the key to brows is a very light touch and quick movements upwards because your hairs grow upward. And I know I'm looking in my mirror and not at y'all, but like brows frame your face and they're a huge focal point in my opinion. So I am, um, yeah, but see how much just darker this is? Now, when I have no makeup on, my brows are pretty dark, but since I color them in, I don't care if makeup gets on them, whatever. So quick and up. I don't like a very um, cartoon eyebrow. Like, I don't like sharp lines and and all that. I just like them filling in. And I know all this is grown under here. I don't pluck my eyebrows. I don't do anything to them. We're gonna take this eyebrow brush again and we're just gonna brush them to evenly disperse that product. And it kind of even takes some out. And I don't know if you can see the difference in how much lighter this one is than that one. And again, it shows off your bushy brows. This is the spoolie here, just to bush them out a little bit. Um, if you don't like bushy, again, skip that step. And y'all, this stuff looks sick because it's Brow Sculpting Gel by Ardell. The labels kind of come off. It's just clear mascara, but because I use it strictly for my brows brush up with the spoolie to hold them in place because i strictly use it for brows it's got a lot of this um brow mousse in there so the clear is no longer clear and that just really keeps your brows in place last but not least y'all are gonna think i am a joke here <clears throat> This is the Voluminous, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I live for this mascara. I have used it for months. It is the dupe for the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex. I didn't know that when I bought it. I just saw this at CVS and was like, hmm, because I really like the way that the brush looked. And then I was in the bathtub one night and I saw that it was actually the dupe for the Better Than Sex that everybody talks about. Now, I use, again, Rodan and Fields. I'm a consultant for them. I use the Lash Boosting Serum, and I have extremely long lashes. So I bought this 
La Fru Fru by NYX. Don't use that though. Because I dip this small brush, this small brush into here, into the L'Oreal for my base coat because my lashes are so long that I couldn't get underneath under here. Make sure you go all the way in and shake it. But I could not get all the way to my lash line with the L'Oreal brush because it is so much fatter. Um, and again, because my eyelashes are so long, I do get a lot on my eyelid, but I'll clean that up. And I just put this on. And y'all, I know I make some ugly faces when I do this, but. My husband actually makes fun of me. Don't care. Hi. Okay. Some people don't like a really dramatic eyelash look. I do because I'm extra. Oh, crap. Y'all see that? And I grab, I had a Q-tip. Grab my Q-tip here and I roll it. I did not wet it, but now I just did. And then I'm going to take this. You can still see it. Okay. Um, I do. So I do this first, like I said. And y'all, this is the longest part of my makeup. But I am a eyelash person. And I like them to look a specific way. So I do that. And then I take this same brush. And do my bottom lashes. Okay, and this is where I get extra. I put the NYX brush back in the NYX. Put that away. Dip the L'Oreal brush in there. Get a good bit on. And I thicken these boys up. Because I like a very... My eyelashes are not clumpy because I use the small brush. So I like a very dramatic lash. And now, while that kind of dries, I'll take my Q-tip and try to fix any imperfections that I can find or see. Okay. And that is my face. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Shake her up. And you're supposed to go in an X motion. Okay. And that is my makeup. But for lips, I'm going to use, this is from Merle Norman. It is called Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After, it is a liquid lip color. It's just a pretty color, I love it. And that is it. And this, this is my look. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was highly, 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 highly requested. 
Um, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm nothing, <laughs> nothing special. Um, this is just what I do. And like I said, it normally takes me 20 minutes to do a full face of makeup like this. To me, this is a full face of makeup. Um, this is how it looks. Um, I will try to find and link all the products that I use down below in my description box. Please don't forget to like this video, which means give her a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share as it really, really helps my channel. Let's get growing. See y'all later.